My name is Moon Petri and it is my writing retreat weekend or self-care or vacation or whatever you want to call it. It is very early on Saturday morning. No. It is Sunday morning. It is the 19th. It is Juneteenth. It is Father's Day. And I am going to be streaming with Morgan Lee and a bunch of other people shortly. So, my family left yesterday. Goodbye! I will be sad. I will miss you. I love you. Bye! And although I had a moment that was quite poignant realizing just how empty the toothbrush jar looks, with only two toothbrushes left. My youngest and I managed to have fun despite the fact that it was a totally cold, drizzly, windy day and we did some puddle jumping. And I just chilled. I made cookie dough. And uh, if you've ever felt like there's not enough cookie dough in the cookie dough ice cream, which let's be honest, of course you have because that's not an opinion, that's an objective fact. What I like to do is, um, <laughs> and I think I did this last year when I had my little weekend right around this time of year, is make cookie dough. And then you can just like have half ice cream. I had Ben and Jerry's World's Best Vanilla and half cookie dough. And I watched Godzilla, the one from 1998, because it is about to leave Netflix and... I love the 90s disaster movies. I haven't seen that one in forever. It's pretty terrible, but I enjoyed it anyway. So now I'm having some tea and my baby is having some breakfast and then I'm gonna get her settled into a safe gated room, but one that she doesn't generally spend much time in. And so it'll be fun and yes, that is for Nano from way back in November. I received that as part of my Nano gift package. My six-year-old loves it, so although it's a little the worse for wear, it is still up. And then I need to get settled in and get ready to stream. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the World I Ride a Thon Sprint productivity sprint number nine and now it is sunday evening the whole day has gone by i feel like the project that i'm working on isn't so exciting for giving updates as last year's little writing retreat when i was actually drafting and had word counts to report so i participated in the Worldwide Write-A-Thon this morning. It was my first time actually um, co-hosting. So thanks to Morgan Lee for inviting me. I have been getting some stuff done, some boring stuff like laundry, uh, some fun stuff like baking cookies with my two-year-old, which was super sweet. This is fun. Are we gonna have something delicious? Yeah, cookies. Mm -hmm. She was very excited to get to help with that, which she actually hasn't done before, so I'm really glad I did that. It was incredibly windy again today, though not rainy or cold like yesterday was. It just was unbelievable how hard the wind was blowing most of the day it has finally settled down so what i have been working on is reading i have been reading through the problem child the book from camp april 2019 i finished it in june 2019 the first draft I worked on it again um, for one of the camps about a year later. Managed to cut it down from an unwieldy 97 down to 92K. 
still feels like a lot to revise and I've been really worried about the third act. I wasn't sure if this was going to be my camp project for July for this year and then Margaret Pinard offered to swap problem children with me and I said not in the state that it is in but maybe after this next revision so I have a deadline I am this is the official announcement. What I'm doing for camp is trying to make this book readable. I am not making any promises about it being fantastic, but um, making it so everything strings together and makes sense. Um, toward the end, I have a lot of stuff where I was like, oh, I'll just go back later and stick this in earlier, and then this part that I'm writing now will make sense, and I never fixed it. As of this morning, I had only gotten through about 20% before today started and I am, oh, 80-90% through it now, so I am going to finish reading it tonight. I have not been taking notes or making myself an edit letter. Is that a rabbit? I think I have some notes uh, that I should go through and see before I make any firm decisions. I just wanted to get a sense of the whole thing overall. So that is what I'm working on. That is what I will be doing for camp. And I was super concerned about it knowing that act three is kind of a big mess. I'm feeling more hopeful about that now. Not that it's gonna be a breeze or anything, not that it's in great shape but just that I think it is, uh, it's worthwhile because most of the book I think is pretty um, intriguing, enticing, enjoyable to read and the main character is very like snarky and mouthy and I like her a lot. I, I think, I think act three is fixable. I don't think I have to like trash the whole thing which I was afraid I was, I was gonna want to do. But I feel like I'm not getting as much done. I feel like the weekend is passing too quickly, more quickly than it did last year when I did this. But I'm trying to tell myself uh, having a two-year-old is a lot more time consuming than having a one-year-old. Trying to offer myself some grace and uh, not, not put too much pressure on myself, but I am going to go and finish reading that draft now. Some major excitement here this evening. My cat was chasing a mouse and I trapped it in a toilet paper tube. Washcloth at each end. And now, now I have a mouse in a tube. Hope he's okay. Come on. Come on, little guy. Come on. You okay? You okay, little face? Hello, little cute face. Okay. After the mouse excitement, I did finish reading the last of that book and I am hopeful. <laughs> there are a couple of big pieces that I feel like before I can fix it, I need to brainstorm because I'm like, how did that seem like a solution to me? Um, I there's like a lot that builds up to the ending and this like things almost get resolved and then um there's like a last minute complication kind of thing which i really like and then the resolution to that was really bad so i need to come up with a better solution um but like i said the lead up there was good and i always like that in books where there's like it's so close to everything being okay um, and that falls apart so so that's what I did last night and then um, today which is Monday the 20th I 
spent a lot of time doing other things. I spent a bunch of time with my two-year-old, spent a bunch of time doing household stuff and watching Queer Eye because I was being a little self-indulgent. We'll just not talk about how much Ben and Jerry's there was before my family left and how much is left or how little in the freezer right now. Um, so it's good to just sort of spoil myself at nap time. Did I mention she didn't nap yesterday because that threw my whole everything off. Once she doesn't nap, it's like not only do I not have the time when she would be napping, but then she's just sort of a little off kilter, a little more like easily upset and stuff throughout the afternoon and it just deteriorates from there to the point where in the evening um, lead up to bedtime she just sort of wanders around crying or on the verge of tears or just like flops down sadly on the floor and stuff so bedtime had to be a little early but she did nap today and I found a revision list that I made like two years ago with a few things checked off <laughs> like just a few of the like 25 things on the list um, so I got started at some point I added some things to that and I sort of um, made made things a little clearer a little more comprehensive separated into things I can just fix and things I need to spend some time brainstorming solutions about and one of the things is divided into chapters because it's just one whole 92,000 word chunk of text. It's awesome. Dividing into chapters is something I'm usually great at and this is one of the things I've gotten a lot of praise actually from beta readers on like my micro cliffhangers and um, chapter endings and like knowing where to break things and I did I just didn't I don't know I just didn't it's oh that's gonna be a big job in and of itself I also had a few things I was able to pull from that document of revision notes and a few other things that I wanted to add now that are more like if I feel stuck um, approaches to try or resources to go to and stuff like that would it be good to read through it again and and write an edit letter maybe but I think I'm gonna not do that just yet I think what my approach is gonna be is to just pick away at it and um, fix little things here and there not trying to be totally linear not trying to be totally thorough or comprehensive just get the revision notes list to be shorter and um, get some of the things done and then at some point later in July do another read through and take linear notes hopefully have it in chapters by then so I can have chapter notes instead of just pile of junk so uh, that's my plan. I think of things in terms of house cleaning. Sometimes when the house is just a giant mess, I can't tell what's a top priority, what should get done first. I just need to get started with something, um, make the mess smaller so that I can see it more clearly and then I'll be able to approach it in a more constructive way. So that is gonna be my first goal. The other thing I wanted to think about was how to set a goal for nano I think I'm just going to set it at 30 words and I am just going to work on it every day giving myself one day to have a total failure um, and not worry about word count or time spent or anything like that but just to focus on getting to it opening my documents picking away at something almost every single day in July. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. And then my kids got home and they were so happy to see me. And I swear they've gotten taller in the last couple days and a little sunburned maybe. Um, and they were really happy to see me and it was like totally beautiful for like two minutes. And then they're fighting with each other again. <laughs> like, oh, I was so happy to see you for a minute. 
Yeah. But somebody's small was super happy to see her daddy. So that was it. That was my weekend. It was not quite like last year. It felt like less time somehow and more pressure. I don't know. I think, as I said, partly that's just two year olds are kind of a lot. And um, partly I think it was mindset, a little intimidated by this project. And partly I think I'm just, I'm just a little overdone in general on a lot of things. I'm a little overwhelmed and um, just in a hamster wheel kind of mindset. And so that's why I needed this time. And while it wasn't everything I could have hoped for, um, it was a break. It was a change of pace and I hope it was the jump start I needed for this project. So until next time, I am Moon Petri. I'm clear on my nano plans. I do feel like I accomplished a decent amount this weekend and I am looking forward to moving forward. Please tell me about your nano plans in the comments if you have decided what you're doing.